Hello, hello, familia. Hi, if you are new, my name is Magdalene Janet. Welcome to the fam. Please don't forget to like and subscribe because we're always here having a good time and come visit me on TikTok and Insta because I'm there legit daily. Of course, welcome back to my oldies but goodies. So you guys, we have some new newness. Laura Mercier released, it looks like a re-release of her powder. Before we get started, the reason I look halfway done is because I am. I just did all my cream products. Oh, I forgot to do one more thing. But let me show you i started off with my milk poreless matte primer i absolutely love this this primer is so so good and as i was applying it i remembered my brows weren't on and here we are brows back on i am concealing the lids with the huda beauty concealer now that brows are done i went in with the oh so popular elf halo glow liquid filter in the shade number four medium added it to the high points of the face although i'm oily i still wanted to use it because we're gonna put this powder to the test using my hourglass ambient foundation i really like this foundation blended this out with the brush the skin looks so beautiful oh i just absolutely love it then i went in with some cream bronzer nars laguna cream bronzer in the shade number three added it all over the cheeks a little bit on the forehead and then went in with the m cosmetics blush stick in the shade venetian rose forgot how bomb this blush stick is until i used it the other day i was like oh dang so so good and then of course i went in with my elf primer to prime the under eye area that's how i do my concealer and i color corrected with la girls yellow color corrector i really really like this shade i think it corrects very very well Back in with Huda Beauty to conceal these under eye bags. I feel like we're not really blended. So let's blend this out a little bit. What I forgot to do is actually spray my face. I usually do this. Well, I try to when I remember. Once all the creams are on, you want to spray your face. This helps with longevity, especially because I have oily skin and I'm working with a lot of cream products. And the reason being, it's because we want to... Put this to the test see if it's legit and if it's worth the cost you know so then we're gonna dry this down here is the powder laura mercier is very popular for her setting powder this is her very popular setting powder i have the mini size and this is in the shade honey but essentially her powders are very very good i wasn't a big fan of the original powder because it was just too matte and for me if a setting powder is going to work well it needs to work for the eyelids the under eyes and the skin not just the skin i found that this worked beautifully for the skin like it made your skin look so bomb we want to use makeup for more than one place you know let me give you some info about this the new Laura Mercier Ultra Blur Talc Free Translucent Powder retails for $44. It comes in three shades. I have here the shade Translucent. This is a talc free loose setting powder that is infused with hyaluronic acid for comfortable up to 16 hour wear and an ultra blurring powder. The highlighted ingredients is hyaluronic acid that makes the powder comfortable for all skin types, amino acid, and silica powders that create a soft focus effect on fine lines pores and imperfections and it comes in a 0.7 ounce container this is the packaging very similar to her original i feel like this is a little more chic and it's white instead of this brown I have the shade translucent it comes in three shades and the shade name is back there her powders are now talc free so let's get rid of that no no it doesn't have a scent or anything let's check it out this just released at sephora for i bought mine it, no scent okay we like that we like that. it's not as finely milled as i would like it to be i like my powders to literally look like flour powder you know that very finely finely milled it kind of just melts in your hands okay so this is how it looks you see how it doesn't it doesn't look so finely milled but it's okay just because it's not finely milled it doesn't mean it's not good i just always like to show you and talk about the texture because the texture is very important i do have very creasy under eyes very textured lids so that's why it really matters that these powders set that as well i'm gonna get my powder puff this is my preferred method you can always set with like a brush you can set with a sponge and you can set with the powder puff you can set your skin however you feel most comfortable or you like the best this is how the powder looks you can tell how it's not that finely milled so then what we're gonna do is even it out 
on this puff. The reason I do that is so it applies on the skin evenly. You don't have a big patch stuck of powder on one end versus the other. So let me get rid of my creases. You know, I crease a lot. The way I like to set my under eyes is look straight ahead, tap, and then work it down. Then with my lids, I'm going to tap it in. You want to tap because you don't want to move everything you literally just placed and we put a whole bunch of products on. So you want to just keep everything as such. I'm going to grab a little bit more since I'm setting the face. Also evening it out and just tapping all over now. All over the cream bronzer, cream blush. And let's see if it's going to blur these pores. I do have big pores. Let's turn off the lights. Skin definitely looks blurred. You see that? Oh, wow. Like it really does. You see? Versus here, you can see shine. You can see texture, which is fine because that's literally how my skin is. But look, let me see the under eyes. Did it set them well? Oh, yeah. Okay. I don't know. I'm not... Oh no, I'm lying. I'm like, wait, is it as smooth? But it's pretty smooth. You see the lid? My texture like comes in right there and you can't really see it. It doesn't feel heavy either. So that's always a good thing. Yeah, we're blurred. We're for sure blurred. Cool. All right, I'm kind of excited. And you know, we're gonna do an all day wear test. We're gonna do a flash test. We're gonna do all that jazz. So let me just speed this side up. Let's see how the skin feels. It feels lightweight, but I don't feel like it applies as lightweight, if that makes sense. It doesn't feel heavy. I don't know, does it look heavy to you? I feel like it does, but I like the skin. It looks really good. And you see the shine is still coming through from the glow we put, the foundation. It has a glow finish, so we're looking real healthy, okay? Cool, so what I'm gonna just do is add a wing and put a little bit of powder bronzer blush and then I'll be back. Fam, I completely forgot to tell you the time. Well, let's start the time at 10 p.m. I mean, a.m. I think that's when we started around that time. So let's do a flash test. You're not familiar why I do a flash test or what the point of a flash test is. A lot of times there are setting powders that do this thing called flashback. If you take a picture with flash, it makes your skin look super white and very flashbacky. Anytime I review a new setting powder, I always do a test. So you can just see if we do have flashback because no one wants flashback okay one two okay oh wow not at all don't mind the boobs i just have a sports bra on right now i'll probably crop that but look at that okay wow you know what i just remembered i forgot to curl my lashes so flashback passed completely like wow and you know what now that i'm looking at the skin i added some setting spray and i just feel like the skin looks beautiful very flawless at first, I don't know, it just wasn't looking, I have a patch here, hold on. It just wasn't looking as smooth at the very beginning. I mean, that could happen. After I added everything, like setting spray especially, the skin looks very healthy. I do find that this is not as matte as the original. My under eyes look good. I did have to go back and kind of reset because I saw them creasing a lot. But after we did that, I think it really worked out. I, I like it. I think it's a good powder, but is it like my favorite? I'm not feeling that right now, but let's see how everything works out throughout the day. If we look gastadas, if the oils are completely out of control, let's see, because the point of a setting powder is literally to set the skin. And this is one of the final steps to hold all your makeup together especially if you have oily skin if you live in a humid climate a very hot climate the setting powder is just like makes everything just finalize you know what i'm saying so let's go in front of the window so you guys can see how the skin looks in daylight that lipstick guy tea ah wow i lipstick this whole time i never checked oh talking about lipstick this is my combo rebel kind from nyx more blondie from maybelline and chocolate shake from nyx okay let's go to the window oh the skin looks good you know what i was looking at i just love how my lids look they look super smooth this area looks smooth too that's really really important when it comes to powders because powders can make that area look funky of course along with the face but the face looks really good very smooth huh 
you know daylight it's just a game changer like when i'm not feeling it in studio lighting it's like daylight comes and gives it to me right pattern daylight huh you can see no texture too and pores nowhere to be found but okay ciao. fam i am back it is almost what time is it oh it's about 9 30. we've had the powder on all day but of course before we get started i do want to show you how the skin was looking at around 5 30 and i will say you guys the skin was looking bomb i was just looking super radiant not gastada well put together it's just the skin warmed up so so well and here we are now 12 hours later very oily are using a glowy foundation we also have the glow underneath this is a non-matte powder so we're going to be glowier than we usually are especially if i were to have used like matte products but you guys look at this skin Look how good everything looks. Center is oily, but we know why. But look, nothing's breaking apart. Everything worked very, very well. This powder is good. Definitely grew on me. I wasn't feeling it. Like I wasn't completely excited. Looking at the skin right now and looking at my skin all day, I felt really pretty and very well put together. So, you know, that's always important. That's always important. Let me tap this skin with just the sponge. Ooh, look at that. See the difference? Look at that forehead. This is just gonna take that top layer off of oil. And look at my under eyes though. Look how good they look. They're very well set. They look very refreshed, huh? Oh, huh. Okay, look at the skin, look at the skin. Doesn't it look good? It looks like the makeup could really go on for more hours. And of course, I did use all makeup products that I know work very well. So if it was one thing that was going to go wrong, it was going to be because of the powder, you know? This is a yes for me. I really, really like this version of the powder because it's not as matte and it's not as drying on the lids and the under eye area. With time, the powder got better. I felt like at the beginning, it looked very good, but it just wasn't like perfection. Definitely a new and improved powder that I liked. And I think it works a lot better than the original. This is it. Let me know your thoughts. Have you tried the original or have you tried this new one? It just released at Sephora. Maybe I think last week. Do you use Laura Mercier makeup? I like the products. I think she does good makeup. Okay. I love you guys so much. Thank you for all the love and support you constantly show me. And please don't forget to like, subscribe, click the button right there. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.